First of all, it's it's really an honor for me to be invited to, to speak uh, at this conference. It's my first time coming to talk to a conference on a topic that is extremely um, cutting edge. So one of the things I want to do in the, in this uh, in in my in my presentation is to is to step back and first of all see where the wind industry as a whole has evolved and what are some of the lessons you can learn from onshore wind as you begin to look at higher penetration of of uh, arctic wind being built now the other thing i want to talk about is to put the arctic wind development in the context of uh, global climate change and to talk a little bit about you know what could happen uh, in terms of if the climate changes in such a way that and i know this is really cutting edge it might be a sort of a far-fetched idea but there is a saying that the Arctic is moving further down to Europe, right? It's coming further down. And you could also have jet stream issues that would affect the flow of wind around the globe, right? So could it be that in the next decade or so, what we consider to be Arctic, not decade, but maybe several decades from now, what we consider to be Arctic wind farms may actually end up not being Arctic wind farms because of climate change, right? Or worse, you could have areas in the world today where you haven't seen extreme cold weather start experiencing extreme cold weather so now you could have severe cold fronts coming and hitting parts of the world where you typically have not had that kind of a weather and so you could see where you learn from the the arctic wind farms will actually become non-arctic wind farms and the non-Arctic wind farms could become uh, Arctic wind farms just because of how the climate might change. So I'll talk a little bit about that. And then I also want to spend some time talking about risk management uh, because I think one of the challenges a lot of new technology face uh, is, uh, is the issue of risk. People don't understand the technology. They don't understand how you deploy it. So I'd like to give the audience uh, a, a kind of a feeling of some of the concerns that policymakers have, some of the concerns that people, you know, people in Brussels or people in Washington, people who make policies, when they talk about this idea of Arctic wind farm, not just about the potential, but what are some of the challenges. That is not a trivial question. New technology today are, to some extent, at um, a disadvantage because uh, in times of austerity, in times of economic challenges, anything that seems to be costly, people think short term. And one way I think you can try to convince policymakers is to get them to begin to really think long term in terms of the kinds of investments we need to make. If you look at what's happening around the world today, uh, most countries that are well developed uh, have the what I call human capacity in terms of any, uh, knowledge education to be able to develop new types of solutions, develop new technology. If you don't make the investments now to start to really manufacture and to actually build these new systems, over the next 5, 10, 20 years, you would have missed the opportunity to create a whole new industry. So one of the reasons why you want to start investing now it's because you have to come up with new industries. You have to create new things. And if it's right that there is 60 gigawatt of potential Arctic uh, cold climate wind out there, 60 gigawatt, that's a lot of power. That's a lot of capacity. If you could build that, think of the amount of jobs you could create.